Hello, welcome back to my C programming tutorials. Uh, this is a new program. In this program, uh, we are going to see how to use the break with a switch case statements. So, switch case uh, structure we have in C and I suppose. Uh, in this video, we will discuss how to use the switch statement and how different cases are executed uh, within the switch statements and why we need breaks in the switch statement. Uh, this is the program. Uh, in this program, as usual, we have the standard header includes stdio.s and the console input output.s. These two header files are used for including the prototypes of scan of print of for the stdio.h and conio.h is included for including the prototypes of clr, scr and the get ch in the program ok as usual uh, here we are using one variable let the name be n it's an integer variable uh, that is declared here and clear screen clr, scr used to clear the outputs which were in the output screen uh, the outputs of the previous programs we want to clear it and we want to put our display in a fresh screen and uh, there is a printf statement given here enter any number so it is asking from the user to enter a number and we are going to read the number cast the number to the variable n so the value of n will be the value which is entered by the user now we are starting our switch statement switch n mode 2 this percentage operator is called mode operator or remainder operator it's an arithmetic operator in this operator n mode 2 will give the remainder value suppose if n is 3 n mode n remainder 2 will give an answer of 1 because if you divide 3 by 2 the remainder value will be 1 and that remainder value will be the uh, output of this operation we will be getting the remainder value ok this is a structure of a switch statement in a switch statement we can have many cases switch statement can be used instead of using many if statements suppose if the value given here inside the switch is 0 then do this and break don't do the rest of the things and suppose if n mod 2 that is the operation given within the switch if the value is 1 then do this part of the program and break don't do anything else and this is the end of the switch switch is switching between 2 or 3 or more uh, branches within the switch area with different cases in this particular case we have only two cases the zero case and the one case if this value is zero then do this otherwise if it is one then do this so if you multiply if you uh, divide by two divide any number by two uh, there are only two possibilities of remainders either it can be zero or it can be one it can be even number or odd number if it if the number if the number n is even we are going to get zero as a remainder else if it is an odd number then the remainder will be one so by this technique we can find whether the number is even or odd so this program we are using to find whether the given number the end end number is odd or even and it will print whether the number end end is odd or even that's the purpose of this loop in different situations we can use many cases case 0 case 1 case 2 case 3 you can use different cases let us run this program and see render any number I am going to enter 20 20 divided by 2 we will be getting remainder 0 so it is ender number is even again I am going to give another number by executing once again this time I am going to give 19 it's odd because when you divide 19 by 2 the remainder will be 1 so 
the switch cases we are using to have different branches ok let us do some experiments with this program I am going to comment these two breaks and let's see what is going to happen ok there is no meaning in commenting or giving break here because this is the end of the switch I am commenting this break let us see what is going to happen let me run this here I am going to give a value of 19 and yeah and the uh, ended number is uh, ended number 19 is odd there is no difference doesn't make any difference because if it is 19 then it is odd it is directly coming to this area case 1 and after executing uh, the switch break and even if it is not break then it will come to the next sentences next sentence of statements it will not make any difference let me try with another value of even value in that case it is printing both ended number 20 is even ended number 20 is odd that means if this condition is true if this zero condition is true then should we, then, we, then we should break the program from here else if the case is 1 then we should continue that is the purpose of using break here otherwise both the cases will be executed control f9 i am giving one ok of course the remainder is one it's all now it is coming fine and perfect this is the way we are using the switch statement and we are using break along with the switch statement to control the execution of other cases only the selected case will be executed nothing other than that will be executed I hope you could have followed these statements given in this C program please try this program if you have any doubt regarding this C program or any other program please feel free to contact me this is my email id it underscore teacher1 at yahoo.com hope you have enjoyed this video bye have a nice day